Hello everyone. Welcome to the ad, uh, course Advanced Neural Science for Engineers. And now today is the first lecture. We are going to show. I mean, first lecture of the lab module. Today we are introducing you to one of the clean rooms that we have in IISC. I am Suman Chatterjee. I am, uh, I mean, research scholar, working with Dr. Hardik J. Pandya in Department of Electronic Systems Engineering, IISC Bangalore. So. When we get any news or any technical report about any device, any fabricated device, less than 10 nanometer uh, device dimension or any feature size like that, we always get excited. However, we never think of what type of environment may be required to fabricate such, uh, to fabricate such devices or what type of facilities may be required for that. So today, we are going to show you one of such kind which is not well equipped to go till 10 nanometer systems or subsystems, but we can easily go till some nanometer or higher nanometer range or micron range. So today we will be discussing I mean, or we will be introducing you to one of such clean rooms. You can see here, so uh, this is our lab here in ISC, in DSC. So advanced microsystems and biomedical devices for clinical research. So here we are doing some uh, fabrication work here. So after fabricating the devices, we have separate bio section where we usually check the device, characterize the device, and after that we usually implant it. And the implantable devices can record signals from rats. As of now, we are going for rats experiments only. So we have a complete module here from fabrication characterization, implantation, and any type of chronic experiments. So we'll show this step by step. So this is just the introductory module. Before detailing what is so special about a clean room or what are the differences in one clean room and the other labs, like uh, in normal environment, we can see uh, just a glimpse of our clean room here. From outside, we can see only few deposition systems and our HEPA filters or microscope, these things. We will come and uh, come back to you with each and every details of these tools later on in our later modules. Before going inside, from outside we will show some of the works that we have done using this facility. So this is the first image. It is discussed about intubation catheter integrated with MEMSPACE sensors. So here we can see in the image there is a force sensor array and a tactile sensor which are used for uh, understanding the airway choking or airway obstruction. So here we can see the force sensor array was implemented by a series of heaters. So and the tactile sensor that is basically piezoresistive tactile sensor. So these are integrated on a flexible PCB and here these uh, arrays like uh, this four sense, uh, flow sensor array that is basically the heater, those are fabricated in our facility. Coming to the next image, here we are showing a smart catheter, a new class of catheters that can sense the haptic feedback. So here we can see, uh, if you can see on the right side, so there you will see that is our fabricated catheter on a silicon wafer. If you compare the size of the one cent coin and the fabricated device, then you will understand how small it is compared to what you can see usually. So there lies the importance of microfabrication that you can, you can downsize any, see any microsystem or you can downsize any device to whatever extent you want to minimize. So here, this is the catheter module and that is packaged within a catheter that we will be using for uh, measuring pressure or uh, basically haptic feedback. So me measuring pressure and from which way that uh, force is coming. This is, the, uh, this is the force sensor. So coming to the next image. So this is a microchip for tissue phenotyping. So here we, uh, we are doing ETM characterization. This is part of that project. ETM characterization is electrothermo-mechanical electro characterization of uh, cancer tissue. So this is just one part of that where we are uh, changing, I mean, at the center you can see one heater 
and that is uh, detached by the through holes from the other areas. So the heater will be used to maintain a particular temperature for the tissue and the other three uh, using the other three parts you can record its uh, impedance of that uh, particular tissue. So using that we are doing EPM phenotyping this is one part of that work. Then coming to the next one this is a bioreservable sensor that is silicon based bioreservable sensor that we can uh, see here this is a 32 channel recording array. So this can be implanted on a rat's brain and using this we can record electrocorticography signals from rats under different conditions like maybe the baselines like normal ECG signals as the baseline then maybe epileptic activities then maybe uh, recovered baseline as well then if there is some other evoked potentials that also you can measure by this 2D arrays. So basically as you can see these 32 channels these electrodes uh, uh, which are shown here these electrodes can record it from I mean uh, electrodes can record from the cortical surface of the rat and contact pads are there to take the connections from them. So here also you can see uh, compared to that uh, once in coin there's the fabricated device is pretty smaller and can be implanted on the rat's brain. And here the complete assembly like uh, electron interface board, the head stage and how to fix it using dental acrylic or what can be the 3D printed module you can see here. So everything we are uh, we can get a glimpse about that and in the course we will be discussing some similar type of devices, similar type of implantable devices for recording electrocorticography signals and if possible we will show the complete fabrication process of one such device. Coming to the next image, this is basically uh, some handheld probe integrated with, a micro, with micro sensors for improved brain tumor resection. So here this is a good amount of packaging is there with a fabricated uh, device. So right side top image you can see one uh, you can see one uh, fabricated image that can be useful to delineate the, or to understand the tumor margin and it can it is connected through the probe that uh, I mean, that surgeon can use during operation. Now coming to the next image here are micro needles for neural stimulation and recording. So here we can see on the leftmost side you can see single shank micro needle, three shank micro needle as well as four shank micro needles. So here and you can see on top of a cent, one cent coin, this uh, micro needles are placed so that you can get a comparative idea how small the tips can be. So as for the design we know all these uh, arrays or all these uh, shanks are less than 150 micrometer wide and thickness around 200 micrometer that we can uh, see its ACM images also. So from there we can understand that this 3 shank or 4 shank or single shank devices uh, were fabricated and uh, in the modules in our course lecture already this uh, recording of the local field potentials from a brain depth is already discussed in the course module. So here we can record SEEG signals basically stereo electroencephalogram signals and if we modify the top surface of the electrode array then we can stimulate the area as well. So this is whole idea of the project. So we are just giving on glimpse here. Uh, coming to the next image, we can here see that uh, this project is about neonatal hearing and screening using cortical biopotentials, basically the mismatch negativity. So here if we see we are recording it from outside the cortical surface. This is one of the projects that is uh, regarding analysis of the EEG signals. As such we cannot see any fabrication here but this is also another work from our lab. As you can see here in this image, so this is showing a flexible chip integrated with microelectrode arrays for tumor margin delineation. Here we can see 
the, these 32 channels electrodes these electrodes are fabricated using gold uh, using titanium and gold and on a flexible substrate that is polyamide so on polyamide this is the design what we have seen here not only tumor delineation we can record uh, electrocardiography signals in different stages like maybe epileptic activities then baseline activities or recovered baseline activities then uh, any evoked potentials using these channels so here these 32 channel uh, electrode array we can see and the representative image is also showing that uh, we can place it on the rat's brain quite conformally so that we can record the, the systems uh, record the signals as we want to and here we can see the ACM image as well so that we can understand that uh, this device could be successfully fabricated and we will come in details in the later modules.